This dark colored honey is produced in the north of Benin, at the foot of the Atakara Mountains. Bees collect the nectar of the flowering she trees. The result, a delicacy and also a source of great pride for this beekeeper. We make the efforts of keeping the product natural with no chemical fertilizer, which is better for the trees, their fruits, and the well being of bees. We don't use pesticides, and if we did, there wouldn't be any bees. Pesticides kill them. 600 chi trees grow on the farmer's property. It's also the home of 30 beehives. He's the only beekeeper in Benin to produce this type of honey. But with the local bees being particularly aggressive, harvesting the golden treat is difficult. Once harvested, the honey is taken to the nearby farm, where it's slowly strained through wooden meshing. We put the honeycombs in the baskets. Then we leave them to leak and it takes time. It's different to what's done by machines and to what you can find in supermarkets. Only 500 kilos have been produced last year. But this precious nectar has already its clients. Half of its production is sent to Europe and especially France, where a 100 grams jar is sold 10 euros. This honey has a taste of caramel, but also of cocoa and hazelnut. It's an extremely tasteful honey, which deserves to be appreciated like a fine vintage. The luxury item is helping improve the livelihoods of the women of this cooperative. The beehives are their collective property. They used to produce only sheep butter, but thanks to this new project, their income has increased twofold. With initiatives like this one, she trees, which grow throughout West Africa, appear more than ever worthy of their local nickname, the Tree of Life. <laughs>